Hello friends, how are you all? Guys, I appeared with a new video after about 6 months. Seriously guys, it took me almost about 6 months to make a circuit and that's why I couldn't upload any video on my channel till now. But guys, I really insisted on completing the circuit and guys, I really needed to make this circuit. And guys, I think this video will be very useful for you, especially this circuit. Actually guys, I have never made such a circuit. I succeeded in making this circuit only in the past. But guys, why did it take me so long time? Actually, the main challenge was the making two types of holding machine with a only on circuit. But friends, finally I have made this circuit. Guys, it took a lot of effort and time to make this video. So support the channel by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. If you watch the video from the beginning to the end without skip, you will understand better. So guys, uh, don't skip the video. So guys, let's start the video. Guys, this is not a printed circuit. This is manually made by hand. Guys, uh, first I put all the parts inside the circuit step by step and then I draw the diagram by hand with the marker according to the old parts then I remove all the parts from the circuit again then I open the circuit diagram with the head of the screwdriver after that I cut off the extra part of this blank circuit board and uh, I put all the parts in the circuit and again. soldering them nicely guys remember one thing that there should be enough space around the 310 volts DC moving around and guys uh, who by which places 310 volts will move solder the whole connection line thickly uh, okay guys all parts are assembled and soldered nicely there are three main parts of the circuit first uh, the dimmer circuit which i actually use for control the ampere of the welder and the second is high frequency starter if you don't know what is high frequency starter then see my previous video the third part is inverter system okay now i will check the all the three parts one by one if it will work nicely then i will check whole part at a time and weld with this circuit guys first of all i will check the dimmer circuit this is actually a bta 41 entire dimmer circuit and it is very powerful because it can handle 40 ampere and 2000 watts maximum okay, dimmer is working properly now i am checking the inverter section of the 310 volts and here i will find 320 volt after this connect from the current source of the circuit you can see in the multimeter that current are decreasing because i use a discharge capacitor uh, capacitor discharge resistance now i am checking the high frequency starter section and uh, it's sparking in the spark gap and uh, what will happen in the output section okay in the output section it's working and it's nicely sparking actually this spark will use while tick welding okay now i will check the low and high side pulse of the gate driver circuit but uh, guys it need to be zoomed for seeing properly okay guys now i am zooming in my camera okay now you can see on the screen and the frequency and the duty cycle okay this is the low side frequency uh, and the duty cycle 21 percent and frequency is 44 kilohertz around and uh, now i will check the high side pulse okay this is the high side pulse of 70 percent and duty cycle and the same frequency ratio guys you can ask me why the two pulse duty cycle are not the same because i set my duty cycle potentiometer 30 percent to 70 percent that's why on is around 30 percent and on pulse duty cycle is around 70 percent and this type of pulse will use for SCT. you can change the duty cycle of the two pulse anytime by changing the value of the duty cycle potentiometer now I will check full circuit together and we will check uh, DC output. Okay, you can see my multimeter. Uh, it shows around 70 volt. Now I am showing you how my dimmer circuit is working. You can see on the screen when I change the value of the dimmer, then uh, my meter showing difference voltage and you can also see the output voltage in the digital meter okay guys this is the time to weld to this uh, circuit but before that i have to connect all the welding equipment wire and the argon gas pipe also guys actually i am using the my old 
old uh, welding machine kickers, uh, stick holder and uh, wire and also the gas tank too and uh, guys I have not used any uh, case for this uh, circuit because my uh, budget is too low uh, for that reason I cannot use uh, uh, any cover box or case for that uh, welding circuit yes. if this video is only for you then please like the video and subscribe to my channel and keep supporting me your support is my inspiration so do not forget to subscribe the channel okay all the equipments are connected together now i'm checking the all the connection okay it is so working well this is time to weld but before that i wanna say you uh, some important things guys okay guys before knowing about the schematic of this welding machine we need to know some more information about this welding machine the difference between dc tick ac tick versus ac tick with ac balance before knowing about it remember one thing guys electricity always flow from negative to positive this side the tick torch and this is the work negative section which is dc e n and workplace connect with dc and the formula is electricity flow from negative to positive when electricity flow from tick torch to workplace then it will penetrate the workplace in the terms of uh, dc electricity always flow in on way for that reason tungsten remains always sharp it's getting a tight arc while welding and there are no noise but guys the main problem is you cannot weld aluminium with dc tick if you weld aluminium with dc tick then uh, uh, oxide layer will appear in the surface of the aluminium and the dc tick is not uh, capable to remove this uh, oxide layer that's why I use uh, ac tick in a dc tick current flow on way and in a ac tick current flow from two way sometimes electric uh, current flow from torch is uh, negative and sometimes is positive when negative is flow from tick torch then it penetrates the uh, the surface of the aluminium but when tick torch is positive then current flow from workplace to tick torch that's why uh, the oxide layer will remove and also here a problem guys it will also penetrate the uh, tungsten rod and it will be bored and damaged but uh, you can protect the tungsten rod by the help of ac balance i suppose if i control the duty cycle 70 percent negative in tick torch and 30 percent positive in tick torch when current flow 70 percent time negative from tick torch it uh, will penetrate 70 percent time and and the tungsten rod will serve uh, will remain sharp for 70 percent time when tick torch remain 30 percent time positive then electricity flow from workplace to tick torch then uh, it will be clean the surface and it will also bold the the tungsten but not too much because 30 percent is less than 70 percent time and the whole result will be nice and as a result uh, tungsten rod will remains quite sharp and will be not damaged in this way you can weld aluminium smoothly and this is called ac balance and here the main difference between ac tick without ac balance and ac tick with ac balance and guys now you can ask me how to control the ac balance okay now i am showing you this is very simple okay guys this is the direct gate driver circuit of my welding machine and how can i control the this with this circuit uh, ac uh, balance and uh, i will show you guys uh, you can see here two pulse on green and on red actually this is red is uh, high side out and this is low side out okay so so here uh, you can see the duty cycle is now uh, 50 percent 50 percent uh, what is duty cycle guys from here to here this is on cycle and how much time it will turn on the igbt or mosfet this is the duty cycle from here to here from here to here duty cycle and from here to here on cycle and here also duty cycle the same and if i change 
the value of this degree uh, this potentiometer this is actually used for i am using for this potentiometer to control the duty cycle for ac balance okay now you can see guys now you can see wait uh, play okay now you can see guys the first attempt uh, when i power the ic then sometime it not it's not here not one any uh, igbt this is the soft start and from there it will be and after a some time it will work properly okay this is the proper duty cycle okay from here you can see guys when i change the duty cycle and then you can see guys here red red terminal is off then it is on mass time and off less time and the key terminal also on less time and on mass time and one thing here noticeable that uh, wait here as you can see when my my red data mid signal is off after some time it is on and here a gap this is the dead time in this time no 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 igbt or mosfet will turn on this is called dead time okay i will now show you the the main circuit okay guys this is the main schematic of this welding circuit here you can see this is uh, in this uh, our in our country 200 220 volt and its hertz rate 50 hertz ac okay here i use ntc 10d and on fuse here two same capacitor uh, on a filter here i use uh, this is actually to 300 volt ac 0.47 microfarad capacitor and uh, a, a filter used used between this capacitor and uh, and this is the isolated current and uh, this mainly power three component on this and on this this is actually the uh, from 200, 220 volt ac to 12 volt dc dc module and it is uh, for its it is for the this ic and this cooling fan this is actually not a lamp this is actually this is a fan i just uh, sit here for demonstration and this other component this is actually ac 22 uh, 220 volt ac high frequency starter circuit if you don't know about this you can see my previous video and also this simmer coil simmer coil so this is the circuit and one thing guys here uh, if you this is the feed connection and this is the feed connection these two feed connection is here 220 volt 2.2 microfarad capacitor of 5 volt capacitor two capacitor used for power and th this two capacitor is directly connected with the negative and positive and the feed is connected with the with a tap with this tap uh, transformer one point and other feed connect with the with this two uh, sets uh, these two mosfet source and they connect this side and here on thing guys this two kilo volt two kilo volt 4.7 nanofarad capacitor and two watt 10 ohms 10 ohms is uh, used for is used for protect the mosfet uh, also here and also on here and this capacitor is used for this uh, this mosfets gate protector and these two these two component these two re register is used to protect this ic ic is gate okay and here the dd cycle adjustor and and here the main uh, things guys so here you don't need a choke if you have a simmer coil like this and this uh, board, uh, this 202 volt is a high frequency start circuit out out to output this is the high voltage output will connect with the simmer coil primary section and simmer coil secondary section on is connect with the middle point of the step transformer and on is connect the stick holder or stick torch okay then finish and two in the circuit two port are used actually used for workplace or ground on is dc and on is ac when you using uh, ac take then use this line 
if if you you can connect this this side or this side but only use for on site you can only use on site okay so if you use ac tick use this circuit as ac tick can use this connection for ground or workplace and if you use this dc i use two diode 30 m two diode and this is uh, the connection of this two diode and it is produced 72 volt 72 volt and this will this positive line will go when you weld as dc welding machine then it is connect with the workplace or ground so this is the simple things i hope you will understand so like the video share with others and subscribe this channel and keep supporting me guys Thank <laughs> you.